A co-creation lab was born out of the realization that organizations have lost the way of, of thinking uh, in, in different ways. Uh, they've forgotten how to collaborate, basically. And so that's why the co-creation lab was born, to, uh, to, to bring that mindset of collaboration, especially between teams that are in silos. I think the two benefits of that is first, uh, help them to come up with fresh ideas, new ideas, but especially on problems that they've correctly defined and on the other side to actually help them prepare the ground for execution, bringing those ideas into action and tangible outcomes. A lot of people and companies are like, don't talk to me about problems, I want solutions. Yeah, but if I don't have the right problem, how do you want me to come up with the right solution? So taking a step back and really understanding the problem we're trying to solve and the needs of the user. The idea of doing visual stuff, it, it taps into an inventory of your brain that is different than when you write words. We're going to have eight boxes and we're going to have eight minutes. As humans, we have a tendency to get attached very quickly and too quickly to ideas. So we're going to try and and help ourselves to think again, like to try and break our own silos. Doing that is actually deprogramming your brain and forcing him to take the long way. We do a lot of shortcuts. So we see that and all of a sudden we think that's a pattern. That's the big benefit of digital. You can try everything, but you'll have data to back them up. I know, as groups, I'd like you to show me an Eiffel Tower. A plane. What does a plane look like? And you'll be an apple. I think in order to change, you have to disrupt the way people tend to think and you have to change their mindset. You've got a huge literacy on, uh, on, on design thinking online and everywhere. You can find everything you need to know about design thinking. But I think the secret is that you have to practice it to see the real value out of it. And one thing that we say in design thinking is think with your hand. So do it and see the value out of it. And once you've done it once, you can redo it easily. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be going back and trying these with my teams. We often get stuck in our uh, comfort zones and it's important to get out of the box to do something great. So I think it's amazing and we loved it. I think in today's like a digital advertising world, we need to think not just as an advertiser, we also need to think like a product manager. And this design thinking class really uh, inspired me in this way, how this thinking process, how we're presenting a new product in front of our audience. I think this really helps. Thank you.